Hello everyone. Today we're going to show how to troubleshoot issues related with the UC Traversal Zone. First, we need to browse into the Expressway C web interface and go to Configuration, Zones, and Zones, then open the UC Traversal Zone. Here you can see that our connection to the Expressway E is down. In order to check that, we click on the link to open the Secure Traversal test. The Expressway E FQDN is already taken from the Expressway C UC zone. In order to take the Expressway C FQDN, we need to take it from the Expressway E UC zone, as the server will use this name for verification. Then, we're going to copy the FQDN and paste it into the Secure Traversal test into the Expressway C FQDN field. Then click for Check Connectivity. As shown, the common name of the Expressway C doesn't match with the FQDN of the certificate, which we can corroborate by checking the certificate SAN. As you can see, it is EXPC instead of EXPC1. We can navigate back to the Expressway E UC Traversal Zone page and change the FQDN to EXPC as the certificate subject alternate name shows. We run that test again and we'll find a successful connection. The same on the Traversal Zone of the Expressway. On the second example, we can manually go into the Secure Traversal Test by browsing Maintenance, Security, Secure Traversal Test page. First, on the Expressway E web interface, we copy the FQDN of the server under System DNS. Copying the system hostname plus domain name with a dot separated. We type the information on the FQDN of Expressway E field as we saw on the DNS page, and then copy the FQDN of the Expressway C into the second field. Then check the connection again. And it looks like our certificate is expired. In order to check that, we can navigate to Maintenance, Security, Secure Certificate, and find that our certificate is indeed expired. You can fix it by uploading a new valid certificate. Finally, our third example. We will run the secure traversal test by the UC Traversal Zone error again by navigating to Configuration, Zones, and Zones. Here we can click on the Check Traversal Connection. Once again, we will copy and paste the FQDN of the Expressway C and E into the fields and check the connection. Now the error shows that we're missing the root CA from the Expressway C in the Expressway E server. So we navigate to Maintenance, Security, Trusted CA Certificate, and match the CA by the name we saw earlier. We then proceed to take the root CA and install it into the Expressway E. On the Expressway E web, we can navigate to Maintenance, Security, Trusted CA Certificate, and upload the root CA. And our zone is up again. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching.